and it flies from bush to bush searching for snacks. And we're lucky to have got a glimpse of it there. It may pop out again, so we'll wait a moment or two, but I'm not convinced. They are quite secretive and actually do incredibly well at scurrying through quite thick undergrowth despite being quite a large bird. They hop from branch to branch and there it comes. I think it's popping off to the right. You can just see it faintly working its way through the grass. And this is how they find their food. Won't it be just be awesome if its head pokes off that tuft of grass? It has disappeared into there and could at some stage pop out. What does it appear to be doing? It's hard to tell now. Initially we could see the grass moving ever so slightly, but now I fear it may have... Oh no, here it comes. Awesome! Jeez, look at this. Wow. Not expected. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was the last thing that I expected, and I wonder why it rushed back here. Did it get a fright from something in that other clump of grass? Or was it chasing after an insect? I couldn't see anything flying in front of it. It all happened so quickly. But apparently, the girls in final control, Tara, who's directing, and Nikki, who's giving her a hand, is... Well, it sounds like you just got a short action replay there. And how awesome that we do now have technology to allow for a quick action replay to show you something interesting that if you had have blinked, you would have missed it. I certainly didn't see anything. So thanks very much to Final Control for showing you all that, and I hope you enjoyed that. The cuckoo is still hunting, possibly looking for the same grasshopper in and amongst this thicket. Absolutely awesome. And one person that I should have also congratulated a lot earlier is Brian. Oh, look at this. Absolutely awesome. But Brian did an incredible job staying on that bird as it flew unexpectedly straight towards us out of that tuft of grass. Initially, I just said, wouldn't it be nice if it poked its head out? Well, it poked its head out and more. High-speed pursuit after a grasshopper. And now it continues to entertain us, and you get a good idea of how this bird likes to move. And it likes hopping from branch to branch, and this allows it to scurry through quite thick undergrowth where it searches for its food. That's why we typically don't get to see them very often. They're always in the thick of things, so to speak. They've got a blood red eye, which is characteristic. And very pretty markings on its feathers. Wow, thank you, Virtual Skookle. That was an unexpected but awesome chase we just witnessed.